In this video, we're going to take a look at reverse engineering using texture data with scan files. And the object that we're going to be scanning is a skateboard, and we're using an Artec EVA to scan this part. So why would you want to use texture information when you're reverse engineering an object? Well, a lot of times you may have certain things on your mind or various pieces that need to be analyzed or used on a particular object that you may want to just write down as far as notes. Uh, so for the skateboard, for instance, it's a fairly symmetrical object and we want to use one particular quadrant of it for the reverse engineering process and there's a couple of modifications that we want to make uh, along the way. So it's a lot easier to write these notes down on the part so you know exactly where to work off of and any modifications that need to be done, we can write those on the part which essentially embeds that into our scan file so that we only have one thing to keep track of. This is great for if you have a lot of parts that you need to reverse engineer. So you scan all of them at once, take notes as needed, and then you have those files stored and you can reverse engineer them at a later date while maintaining all of that information. Another great use for this is if you have to scan parts off site and you can take all the notes that you need on the object itself. And then when you're working with your part at your normal facility and not in an off-site facility, you still have the, all of the data needed to accurately reverse engineer the part as you need to reverse engineer it. So if there's modifications or if there's particular features that you want to use versus others, you can essentially write all these notes down on the part and then store that for later use. So what particular formats work best for reverse engineering scan data? Our preference here at GoMeasure3D is the .plyy file format. Uh, so generally when you're talking about 3D scan files and texture data, most people are familiar with an OBJ file format, which is a great file format that gives you very pristine texture files off of your parts and it's great for modeling or for uh, CGI type applications. However, when we're discussing reverse engineering and in trying to keep it as simple as possible, the .plyy file format only uses one file, which is that .plyy file. Whereas an OBJ file you have to keep track of the OBJ, the, the .mtl, as well as a JPEG or a PNG file that you use to generate the texture of your object. And Artec Studio does a great job of creating OBJ files. It also does a great job of creating PLY files. And when it comes to reverse engineering, that .plyy file just makes it that much easier to keep track of everything. When you're dealing with reverse engineering, there's already enough work to be done to where anything that you can do to make it as simple as possible, by all means, go ahead and do that. So how do you work with these texture files? Well, first in our tech studio, it's a very simple process. We can just add the texture data back in that's already been captured with either the Artec Eva, the Spider, the Leo, and once that's been uh, remapped onto our part, we can just save it off as that .plyy file format and then take it into uh, your reverse engineering software of choice. Some reverse engineering softwares work with texture files, some don't. Uh, for this particular application, we're using Extract 3D, which is a really uh, simple plugin to SolidWorks, and it very easily accepts this texture data uh, which we can bring in and use, as you've seen in this video, for our reverse engineering. With this particular process, you can see we've gone through and made a very simple 
uh, a file here. This is more just a quick and dirty way to show you how to use the data itself uh, and not necessarily a tutorial on how to make the most ideal lofted surfaces inside of SOLIDWORKS, but you can visually see the advantages of knowing exactly where we want to recreate a part, especially with something that's really symmetrical like this uh, skateboard where we just want to use one particular quadrant for the reverse engineering process and then mirror around that. Uh, and with using the texture data, we can keep notes of which of one of those quadrants we wanna use. And if there's any modifications that we wanna make, we can take notes of those modifications on our part uh, to keep it really simple in storing that data. And if this is something that we wanted to scan uh, at one particular point in time and not reverse engineer it for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, uh, it makes it that much easier to go back and remember all of the things that we wanted to do to that part. Thank you very much for taking a look at this video.